Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filter on a Volkswagen Versat TDI or similar engine. First, remove the plastic covers for these 10 millimeter nuts. Then the engine cover will pull straight out. Some other models have pop covers where you just pull it and it comes straight out. On this engine, the fuel filter is located here. It should look like this and if it doesn't, see my other videos for the newer style uh, fuel filter housings. For the purposes of this video, I've already pre-loosened these fuel lines because they tend to be quite sticky. So as a tip, try twisting the lines before pulling them back or twisting as you pull to avoid damaging the line. Remove this uh, Mickey Mouse clip, hold it quite firmly with pliers, otherwise you're going to have to buy a new one or fish it out from underneath the car. On this model, the fuel filter is held in place with a 12 point bolt right here. Other models may use a Phillips screwdriver or something similar. I actually replaced my 12-point uh, bolt with just a regular 6-point head, hex head because it's a lot easier to remove. Now release these little clamps here or anything else that might be holding the fuel filter in place and try to wiggle it up. Here's my new fuel filter. Now you may note that it has a water drain on the bottom. Just make sure that's tight. You're supposed to drain water out of the bottom every 10,000 miles and replace the fuel filter every 20,000 miles. I don't do the water drain because I've never found any water in my fuel and because it's such a pain to get in there, but of course you should do it. Have a paper towel handy to catch the fuel spill. And then quickly attach it to here. This is the line that goes to the engine, and this is the line that goes from the engine. Before you put everything together, this still has some fuel in it. Therefore, empty it into a clean container, then pour it through here, the return line, in order to make sure that you don't have a dry start. If you, have a, if you don't add fuel through here, you're going to have a pretty hard time starting the engine because it will be all empty. My generic fuel filter didn't come with new O-rings, but these look in good shape so I'm just going to reuse them. If your fuel filter does come with new O-rings, note this black and then the blue O-ring. I'm going to pop that back on, making sure that it's firmly placed. Replace this Mickey Mouse T clip. Make sure that's seated well. Then I'm going to tighten this bolt back up, replace these fuel line clamps, and then go for a drive checking for any leaks. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thank you for watching.